Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. And I have the fans running, so that's the noise you hear here in the background. It's evening here, but when I'm filming this, but it's still quite warm. Let me get the temperatures here. 26 degrees, 50 percent humidity. It's a bit low, but it does go higher when the sun is uh, out uh, a little less uh, than uh, in the afternoon. But uh, I thought, yeah, maybe uh, I can do some kind of series where I talk about the orchids a little bit more and because I personally like those videos and you also can uh, have a little bit better idea of the orchids that I have, I think. And these guys, I really want to show them to you. I try to uh, give them a little bit more um, room. So sometimes I have four shelves, but in this case I have uh, three because the orchids are quite big. So I thought that we would um, do an update first on the uh, bigger guys that I have. Um, I have a few of them. Um, yeah, personally I don't know when you talk about uh, specimen plants, but I think uh, a few of them are quite big. So let's uh, introduce them to you. And you probably have seen them some from time to time, but this is my uh, Ragnellii. Um, I'm gonna start with this plant first. This one is growing like crazy. Um, let me grab the tag so you can see. Now you can also uh, see the bloom, but um, this is Miltonia Ragnellii. 2019, so I have this about two years. That's not long. That is not long, I'm sorry. Um, but I must admit, when I bought it, it was quite a plant as well. It wasn't no, m maybe half of this, I think. And I divided um, directly when I bought it, because I g did give a piece of this plant to my niece, also a very good friend. And But I seriously cannot see anymore where I did cut it and t took that piece off. Because it's growing, like I said, like crazy. It has at least, at this moment, 12 new growths going on. And many more. I don't know. But quite a lot. And we have a few in the middle here. And what I like about this plant is it's growing basically in every direction. At least one a new growth. And we have also one here. We might want to have one here. Maybe I did cut it there. I, but I'm not sure. But it's also starting to spike. And I have one, two, three, four, five. At least five spikes on this so far. No, that's not a spike. <laughs> Almost six. There is a spike. In that sheet, let me zoom in. I hope you can see it. It's there. It's a spike. So that is six, if I'm correct. Yeah, probably we'll get more. If I have 12 new growths and this one is a way, to, has a way to go to uh, to um, mature and start to play. My, I, yeah, I should at least get about 12 spikes this year from it as well. And this growth has two spikes. It's beautiful. Um, this this part. I'm sorry. This bulb just grows one. Oh uh, yeah, and this one that I showed you is also making two. So yeah, I probably get at least twelve spikes. Maybe even much more. I don't know. I'm just just try not to hope too much, but. Um, yeah, it would be amazing, I think, if it gives you 12 spikes in, in basically every direction with those beautiful blooms. It's going to be quite a show. And we have some bigger spike and some really smaller spikes. So I think I have quite some blooms to, to show you guys and to enjoy the coming months. But yeah, this is absolutely one of my biggest plans so far. Then in the middle we have a smaller one, it's a brushia, and I like to keep them uh, close to the family memories, me members, I'm sorry. 
This one is uh, starting a spike, it's already bloomed, starting to bloom in the background again. This is the, I'm sorry, this is the orange delight. The plant itself is not looking incredibly great. Uh, and I even think that I give this a little bit too much sun. Well, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, so I, I moved it. It doesn't get as much sun um, anymore. I had it uh, over um, where I now have my vendas hanging. Maybe you remember it, but there it was, and it did get a little bit too much sun. It also makes a, a new growth there and two spikes. So it's it's not a very big plant, but it's a uh, at least a little bit bigger one than the rest. But it's growing in three directions, so that will give me some problems, of course. <laughs> there is also something I need to think about with these guys. This is one of them, but this one, as well, is a very... Let me go, I cannot zoom out anymore. <laughs> go back a little bit. You can see this is... It's big. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. I really, really like these specimen-sized plants. That's basically sort of a goal for me to grow them as big and beautiful as I can. Just something I, I personally like. And obviously it has two spikes going on and I saw yesterday one there as well. And of course, before I forget, let me tell you which one this is. It's a Brachia type, if I'm correct. Bertonia, I'm sorry, Shalop. Crossed with Ringonia Mary L. Ella. Beautiful color, and this is one of my favorites, color-wise as well. But also the plant itself, I really, really enjoy it. Even without spikes, it's such a beautiful, really healthy green color on it. And it was in the same spot as this one, but it can take some more light, I think. Because I don't see any purple on this um, at all, or too much purple, so I think it's uh, doing well. But you see the problem here, we get into this new growth. It just just decided to put a ro uh, the roots in, in, the, in the basket, in the pot, I should say. But yeah, this is also a big one. And same story, I did divide it. And this one is even younger than my Ragnellii. I uh, have this probably for a year. Maybe it's on the tag, let me show it quickly. No. Yes, I'm sorry, the date is here. It's a little in the corner. Yes, 2020. The other one was 2019. Uh, this is 2020. So just an, a year. But it did grow, grew so much and and yeah it really likes this uh, setup i think self-watering setup it really likes to drink i had to water it uh, yesterday again uh, yeah and probably need watering uh, tomorrow again but yeah you can imagine this one that uh, takes up uh, quite uh, quite some water but this is uh, an a absolute favorite but yeah i'm not sure how to repot this I need to, because when it's done blooming, I will have new growth, but it is something, uh, I have some ideas, but if they're going to work, <laughs> I don't know, but I like this uh, challenge, and here I have my Miltonia Sunset, but not really, I have a spotted version, sold as a Goldie Eye, if I pronounce it uh, right, but I don't believe it is a Goldie Eye, I think it's the Sunset with some marks left. Because the golden eye is, if I'm correct, a one of the parents of the sunset. But this one uh, really likes to grow. It's not a very big plant, but it's now putting out three spikes. And if I'm correct, yeah, we have a growing direction here as well. So it has four directions of growth. And it did have a little bit of setback. I think I kept it a little bit too cold. I cannot remember correctly. Uh, completely, I'm sorry, but yeah, but this is one of the bigger um, Miltonias. It's 
sounds a bit strange calling this big when we have <laughs> this one <laughs> next to it. This is this is I think the biggest plant I, I have. Bulb wise and, and leaf wise I have that big dendrobium. We will get in a minute, but this one is really a uh, specimen plant, I think. But also this one, it's a little bit smaller than the one uh, below it, the uh, beautiful crush. But this is a uh, purple one and also coming out of the pot. It has a little bit smaller pot um, than the one below. I keep forgetting uh, the name of this, but it's crush. So I could go up one size, so probably can have it in that pot for a year. But this one is also starting to grow. And you may have seen it, it also starts to bloom. We have two spikes there, we have one here, I'm sorry, that is two, three, one in the back is number four. Um, at this point, as far as I can see, I see no more spikes at this very moment, but I have a maturing uh, new growth here as well, so I probably should have get some more um, spikes as well. Yeah, this is a very big one. Oh, before I forget, which one is it? <laughs> I hear you asking. Whoops. Oh, where is the tag? Oh, it's in the back. You got to be kidding me. Where is it? Um, no, that's a leaf. Let me get it down to the ground. Uh, I will back. One moment. So now we have a better of a different look. I don't know if it's a better one. Yeah, it's a nice nice size plant. I saw the tag in the back. Well, here it is. Let me grab it. This is the... Oops! Um, De, De Garamoara. Oh, pronunciation is not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not good. Memor Memoria Donald Yamara. Also 2020. I bought these guys, this big one and this big one, at the same time, at the same uh, garden center actually. I found these, these guys at a garden center. I was a bit surprised and I immediately fell in love with them. And I said, said I need the biggest ones. And I probably had them, but yeah, once they... Uh, start liking you and your environment these guys like to grow quite quickly they also do not mind blooming in my uh, in my experience but yeah they can become quite quite uh, quite big but i, uh, I like i said I, I love it but i really need to repot it once it's uh, done blooming and then i have three more brushes those are not that big uh, yet, but this one is the uh, Mystic Maze, and it really has an enormous uh, bulb there. So uh, yeah, it's not not that it has many bulbs, but the bulb itself it's really huge. Um, I hope you can see it. So yeah, that's why it's in the family of the bigger ones. Um, yeah, let me turn around. Sorry if I make you dizzy. Here we have my berry oda. I think this is quite a big plant as well. Um, it has quite some canes, and at the moment it's really enjoying making cakes. I must admit, I rather have new canes. But yeah, what can you do? <laughs> you can recognize uh, the new canes and the cakes quite easily on that. Those are lighter green leaves. They have a little tint darker edge to them and a little bit purple um, I don't know if that really is comes from the Sun because it also has purplish uh, flowers so I think there's just some purple in there anyhow the leaves do look a little bit darker the older ones but it, it blooms for me so it uh, does get enough light it likes to bloom really well so yeah I think it's okay yeah, I have so far one new cane and a lot of cakey, so... And I'm not completely sure, but I think I'm going to cut them off when the roots are long enough and to put them up as single plants. Because I think this will get 
quite unruly. If I let those cakes on there, those cakes can cake, get cakes again and again and again. So yeah, I don't think it will make the plant more beautiful. Even though I love my uh, bigger plants, specimen sized ones, I don't think it's going to work that well for the berry odia if you leave the cakes on. So therefore I hope I will get more new growth. Yeah, what can we do? So that's a bigger plant. Then we go to my Dendrobium phaleopsis. These are not big plants, I know that, not specimen. I have them not that long, but this cane is very big. <laughs> so it's not really a big plant, but I'm so curious uh, what this one's going to do. If I don't forget, I will put up a uh, picture of some footage of the blooming of last year's. It was quite a big spike, a long spike. I had about 28 blooms on it, I think. And now it's uh, even bigger, longer and bigger. So, yeah. Curious to see what that one is doing. My cherry baby is this one. I had three new growths. All of those growths had a spike on it. They start, they take a little bit of rest apparently before they uh, start to grow again. But I have a new growth there. That little teeny tiny point is a new growth and maybe a few more. But that might, uh, might get uh, quite big as well. I think uh, it can. So I leave those both on there. Um, another one that is really starting to grow for me is the Sotoanum. This is its uh, biggest new growth. It's not a big plant yet, but if it continues growing at this rate with at least four new growths, a big root system. Yeah, four new growths. This might be getting a big one as well. But once again, I like them. <laughs> No problemo. And then we have this one. This is just a big cane arc. It's not, not really a specimen size, I think. I'm not an expert on spe when something is specimen or not. <laughs> I just like it or I don't like it. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, I like it. The downside of these Trinomus canes is it's very hard to handle. When I need to flush it or I need at least take my notes of the uh, reservoir. Oh, it's a job to get this down, to not break something. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful plant to have. And uh, yeah, as you can see, once it likes your environment, it likes you as a grower. It really wants to grow for you. So I really let it, and if I hope it's happy with this new spot because I now can uh, let it grow, even though I have a tap there. But I can still get to the tap, but I don't use it that much, so I thought, well, okay, have that space <laughs> and just uh, start growing. Beautiful orange waxy blooms. This is the Dendrobium Chris Christianum. Oh, I will have a pop-up because the tag is somewhere there and I can barely reach it, <laughs> but it's beautiful. The most common one is the yellow version with a darker uh, heart in the bloom. And uh, I have the uh, orange one, and it's 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 out there, of course, but it's a less common, I think. Beautiful orchid. Um, then we have some fells. Um, yeah, they're getting bigger, but it's not not that they are really big. I think they uh, yeah they started to get there, but it's not specimens. But they are uh, growing, so I hope. I really like those older fells with a lot of leaves, big ones. Um, yeah, vendor wise, vendors is always a bit bigger, or most of the times, but that one had 10 keikis. So, if all those keikis survive, I don't think so. I think I have around 6, 7, maybe 8. At least 2 were, were dying off, but um, uh, no, let's say 6 new keikis growing. That will uh, become a, quite a big plant and um, this Catalea I never had it in bloom it's the Chinatown oh I can reach the tag let me show it to you guys it's the uh, PLC 
something and then Chen New City. I don't know what that stands for. I'm sorry. I have this 2018. I think I have it longer, but it was the repotting date. This is my. This is one of my. Yeah, this is actually my first Catalea. Um, one of the first. I have three or four of them bought once. And but that one, it's making a sheet. This one needs quite a lot of light and high temperatures. That is what it, it is getting now, so probably it should be blooming now, but that would be the first in years, so that would be amazing. Beautiful, uh, big red blooms. I can't wait. I really hope that it will work. But yeah, so far that is, those are my, uh, my biggest plants. They take quite some years normally to get really big. So yeah, I'm trying to stay here quite some years <laughs> so hopefully in uh, in a second uh, maybe five six seven years i would have uh, quite some more big uh, big orchids but you never know for now i have these were my uh, my biggest plants and uh, like i said i have them there collected and i will keep an eye on the spikes they are uh, reaching the roof almost but um, yeah so far this update on my biggest orchids i hope you liked it and as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.